Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another week of vaping programming on the original vaping media network, Vape TV. This is the Vaping Evolution. I am your host. My name is Dwayne, but my friends call me AG. Welcome to the all hybrid show this evening. We have a special guest for you tonight. He's waiting in the wings. That's right, Mr. iHybrid Mods himself, Faceless, is here to answer your questions, tell us about the things that he's up to, discuss his products, talk about his new mod that everybody is on the edge of their seats waiting for, the new Pure, the $99 industry changer. How is everyone doing this evening? I'm doing great. I have my uh, Illuminati, which I told everyone the other day, this is now a f officially a $1,000 mod. It has been verified that one of these has sold for I'm going to turn this down just a little bit more, I think. So, I want to give Faceless a second to get ready. Make sure that he can... Make sure he can hear me. And I'm going to bring him on. You there, buddy? Yep, can you hear me? Alright. We're switching to double cams. Nice, I'm sexy. Look, how sexy. look at that. Got a good look at him. This time, uh, he has good lighting in there. It's hard as shit to bake in this thing, I tell you. <laughs> That's a nice mask. I'd like to have one of those. But I have five of them if you want one. I'll send one to you. Yeah, send me that drip tip too while you're at it. Nope, I'm keeping it bastard so how have you been doing faceless you've been a busy guy yeah busy. i've been real good man i've had a real busy weekend though it was my son's first birthday and had some problems around the house with my septic so i went outside and dug a big ass hole trying oh. to do everything on my own oh man i just had my septic pumped out the other day i don't want to have to dig it up yeah the joys of having your own septic in the middle of fucking country yeah and a well too. Yeah. Always. Yeah, the well sucks too. Always jacking around with the well, and the water softener, and the iron, and all the silt that comes up, and changing filters, and everything just nonstop. Yeah, I think the cows crushed the septic lines going out. I think they were walking on them and crushed them, so I got to put something up around it. Yeah, I have to give warnings when there's uh, things going on at my house that you can't park in my front yard. Yeah. Somebody pulls in and they see me running out, wondering why I'm freaking out. I'm gonna crush the septic. <laughs> exactly. So can everybody hear him okay? Do I need to turn the music completely off? I can do that if I need to. In fact, I might. Because that's just sort of extra background noise in my ears, actually. So first... You know, it's like one week we're getting a we're getting a Fecta, and then the next week we're getting a Pure. When do you have time to do anything else? I know you've got a couple of LEs that are getting ready to re be released too. Yeah, I mean the Celtic and the Celtic and the Booby. I just refer to it as Booby because nobody else knows what I'm talking about. Unless I say they for a Pure, but those are both coming out this week too. I mean, those would be shit. Everybody's been on a waiting list for that Baker Cure because that's the only one I did pre-order on. Just simply because I wanted people to have it 
you know, not having been free so long. I even made extras for people that missed it. So. Yeah, those look nice. Those look nice. I'm, I'm, I'm on a, a spending freeze right at the moment because I have too much yeah. stuff and it's hard to get rid of more. But, you know, I just counted today. I have seven iHybrid different things. I have four LEs, an Effecta, and a Synthesis, and a Pure. So I'm, I'm doing all right on iHybrid stuff right at the moment. Yeah, I got enough iHybrid stuff too. There's only two other mods I want. I want a billet box and a, a Gus Lux Paps or whatever it is. That's all I want and I can't find it, so I just give up. Well, I saw you could have bought a billet box last night on vape auctions for like $1,300 or something. Uh, I can make one for, least, for less than that. <laughs> Maybe that's what you should do. Maybe you should go into the billet box market. Oh, 1310, excuse me. I was off a little bit there. Yeah, if I could make one, it'd be awesome. If I could get one, I'm going to see how it's made first. I'll just make my own, I guess. So why don't you... Uh, Tell us a little bit about what inspired the uh, the pure. Why did you decide to make a pure? Well, a lot a lot of people can't afford two hundred fifty five dollars, and then you know I saw other mods that were aluminum, pure aluminum, and they were really high. And those not those don't have a lot of machining to it. It's just two separate pieces and a switch. Right. You know, on the I hybrid LE, the LEs, man, I have threads all over that place. I have to turn around in the chuck and put threads on the other side. And take real good care of it. It sucks, man. Those things are a pain in the ass to make. And those cures are simple. I mean, I can make a thousand, two thousand of those things a month. So I figured instead of selling for 150 to 200 dollars, just mark them down to like 99 dollars. If I can sell them in bulk, then I can make some money on the return. You know, instead of being greedy and say, oh, I can make a hundred, two hundred, and sell them for 200 bucks. You know, to make my money back, I figure I could just make the money selling them in bulk. Right. To pay for the time. And this is this is all this is all there is to the pure as far as parts go. We're looking at just a couple of parts. Does not come with the LE drip tip. Does not come with a drip tip. But this is all basically one piece, and it's all fully yes, anodized. Yeah, I turned that just one solid piece. There's nothing to it. I just turned that all at once. Yep, yeah, and I don't know if you can see inside of there, but I believe that still has a brass center post, correct? Yes, it's brass. And then it's silver filled inside and all that? Correct. Well, those that I sent out weren't. I didn't have time to do all that, but the ones that I that will be out will have the silver in it. Oh, okay. But it's not going to make that much of a difference with the full aluminum body, because your aluminum is more conductive than brass. Yeah, it seems to hit really good. And what size were the wick holes on this one? Uh, about 2.85 to 2.9. It varies. Uh, I didn't do it at a set, a set number, just like... I just grabbed a bit that was in between 2.8 and 3.0, and that's what I used. Right, and it was really easy to set up because the uh, the wick hole is anodized as well, so there's mm -hmm. you don't really get any grounding issues that go on with that base on there. Right. It has the, uh, you can do a coil left or right handed, so I like going on this left hand side because then when you're tightening down the, the uh, wires, you're actually going with the direction that the screw spins. A little more difficult to do it with the right-handed one. That's something yeah, you ought to consider for, for future LEs is put that screw on the left-hand side of the wick hole. Yeah, and that's the whole reason I did that because people were saying, you know, hey, I'm left-handed. There's anything we can put one on the left side just for me? I'm like, eh, I couldn't do that. Yeah. So I figured I'd just make it like that, just like the fact that. And see, I'm right-handed, but I actually prefer that screw to be on the left side of the hole just because then when I'm, I'm turning the screw, it's going uh, the wire tightens under it instead of getting looser. Yeah, you're not all right in the head, that's probably one. Probably. I just overthink things sometimes. Yeah, yeah. So I've got some uh, Maha in there. And I mean, it's just a real basic, simple device. And you said this is the 18490 and these are going to sell for $99, you said? That's correct. Yeah, the 350 everything varies by $10 increments. The one smaller than that, the 350 will be 89, and then the 18, 650 will be 109. And then the switch has the uh, has the brass contact inside of it. I wonder if my switch is getting loose here. Where's my screwdriver at? No, it just has that much 
that much springy in the Delrin there. And yeah. I'm, I'm assuming yeah, that's to I'm, I'm assuming that's to adjust for different size batteries so that they all stay snug. Yes, because God knows that whoever's making those batteries, they're all different. They do vary a little bit. Even the AW uh, 18490s vary just a little bit. Because I have other ones that have telescoping pins in and just swapping the batteries out in them. I'll have to make adjustments even when I change, just change the battery from and just one size. Yeah. Yeah, that was the whole thing with that. The only reason I ever did that was because the original iHybrid, you know, with the kick. I was having problems with the kick with the space. So I sat around forever trying to figure out that Delrin thing, and that's what I came up with instead of, you know, making a sleeve or something to adjust. So I just made a fluctuating Delrin. And you gave, it's caught on. And you gave up with that kick, right? Yeah, I gave up with kick. I mean, in the beginning when I made it, you know, everybody's wanting kicks, and now that everybody's going to low homes and stuff, you just realize you don't need it. And that top cap fits on there nice and secure. It has an O-ring up here at the top so it doesn't leak down and then an O-ring down at the base to hold it. And actually after it's been together a little while, you have to get a pretty good grip on it to pull it apart. And that's actually a yeah, good thing because you don't have to worry about that coming apart at all. Yeah, yeah that thing is not ever going to come off in your pocket. That's guaranteed. Drip tip hole is like perfect. I've stuck a couple of different drip tips in there and they're nice and snug. And I stuck the LE one in there just because uh, I think it looks badass. Yeah, and that was harder than you think, too, because whenever you anodize aluminum, it takes some of the finish off of it, like 10 thousandths or uh, 1 thousandth, 1 100 thousandths of an inch. So I had to give it, you know, make everything tighter because I knew it'd loosen up. Right. Now, I know that the, that the first few of these have the uh, iHybrid logo in there and that the production model is not going to have that, correct? That is correct. Those were a pain in the ass, man. I was breaking a debt probably every two to three units. So what did you so, what, what, mean, what did you finally decide on as far as what your cutout's going to look like, or have you? I I, I haven't. Uh, I might I might get away from the circle and go to a power sign. You know the uh, like an upside down horseshoe with a little line in the middle. Oh, okay. I mean, I might go that way. I don't know. I'm still. I have all the sleeves made. I just got to come up with the designs on coming out. Right. And then this has a 1.2 millimeter air hole on it, which I don't know if I can get. There we go. I'll get that in focus on there. And of course, you know, there's people that are going to say that 1.2 is too tight for them, but it is made out of aluminum, so it would not be hard to drill if you don't want the 1.2. Right, exactly. That's why I made it small, because some people are like small, and then some people like it big. Well, if I made it big, you can't make it small, but if I make it small, you can make it big. Exactly, and, and that's exactly my feelings on it. I have other atomizers that I've bought that uh, have ones or are slightly larger that, you know, if you want them bigger, just drill the dang thing out, because there's a lot of people that do like the smaller draw. <clears throat> Tends to make it a little bit more flavorful when there's not quite as much in there. Now, yeah. the... Uh, it's kind of hard to tell, but there is not much room underneath that cap once everything's put together. It's a it's a pretty small chamber inside of there. Yes, it is. It's not it's not quite as small as the factor, but it is small. It's pretty small. And here's something that you were telling me about. Just check that out. You can take your Fecta cap and you can pop it on there, which I don't want to do because then everything in my Fecta is going to taste like Maha. <laughs> <laughs> We don't want that. This pure. Yeah, I try to make everything interchangeable. I mean, the tanks are the same size, so. And I was having a problem with that, you know. Like whenever I very first made the high hybrid, that's what I did. I made it where the Genesis standard tank would fit. You know, because I knew I wouldn't be able to keep up with tanks because I didn't have a damn clue what I was doing with the glass. But the fact that in the pure are the same size and bedazzle, Kathy over at bedazzle tubes takes care of me for that. You know, making the tube swamp. Yeah, that's that's awesome that there's glass companies out there that were, you know. Cardo tanks were the thing for the longest time, and now they're making up their our lost money on Cardo tanks by making uh, tanks for all these different Genesis atomizers. I bet they yeah, and that help, that helps a lot. I mean, you have no idea how much that helps. Yeah, well, I bet they were all cussing these Genesis atomizers. It's like, oh, nobody's using Cardo tanks anymore. What are we gonna do? <laughs> <laughs> I bet they're more than keeping up with people breaking their glass tanks on their on their stuff. Oh yeah, and that one's going to be hard as hell to break. 
because even if you drop it on the top cap, it won't break it. Right. Yeah, with this one, it would be hard. And, and you know, if you're if you're using your Fecta with the sleeve protector on there, you're not going to break that one more than likely either. I guess you're a little no, bit. I guess I guess you could because yeah, because the top cap could split it. Yeah, that's true. I prefer so. I prefer to have those tank protectors on there. Yeah, and did you see? What, did you hear what I'm doing with the fact that that you're going to do a uh, dual coil version? Yeah, I have a dual coil uh, version. That's going to uh, Erica a local base. They'll be the only ones that have that. It'll be exclusive to them. Uh, you know, they ask for it, and then the rest of them, I'll have it Wild Valley and uh, Leipzig. But out of the ones I just ran, I'm going to do ten and gold plating. Oh, really? Yeah, they're going to be rare as shit. So every time I make vectors, I'm just going to do 10 and gold, and that's it. And those will be a Wild Valley only. Yeah, you still have my address, right? <laughs> yeah, I got it. All right. Just checking. All right, so this is uh Now, there is a top cap that goes with this if you want to use this as a 510 mod, which I don't have it sitting here real handy with me right now, but this breaks down into... I guess it's, is this fewer pieces than a than an LE, or is this the same number of pieces to make this? Uh, that's fewer. Is it fewer? Oh, that's a lot. Yeah, that's a lot less. Because you got, th I got an extra tube with the uh, LE. Oh, right, you got the 350 tubes that go with them, too. Yeah, those things are not. Making 350 tubes? So, or just making tubes, period? Well, yeah, just well, double double threading aluminum, man. Aluminum is so soft when you're working with it. You know, putting it in a chuck, and you have no idea how many pieces I scrap. Oh, as far as threading and both it, ends, you mean? Yes. Yeah, Tyler, the next ones will be brushed. Yeah, I heard that. I read that. Brush version. Yeah, the next one will be brushed. And somebody was telling me to own some. I think Easy's talking about the own symbol for the cutout. That might actually be a good idea for the pure. Right, yeah, if it, as long as it's, uh, as long as you're not going to be snapping bits off. Right. This Fecta is really uh, nice. Now, now, I've heard rumors that there's going to be a titanium Fecta. Yeah, they're already made. Oh, they're already made. And you got my... Yeah, I made 60. I made 60 of them. Okay, and you still have my address, right? <laughs> yeah, I got your address and your bank account number, so we're good. God damn. Yeah, I'll just send you my spare credit card, and you can just spend my tax return for me. So yeah, I turned uh, 60 titanium and uh, FECTA, and I turned 60 titanium in the pure. So there's the FECTA. It's got a nice little engraving down there on the switch. Now, you were telling me one day that the actual button is the same on everything. Made different materials, obviously. This one's aluminum, and the, the FECTA's steel. But the buttons are the same size? Uh, yeah, but the threading is going to be different on the Pure because I couldn't go that thick because the wall is, is tiny. So the switch, house, the switch housing doesn't fit, is that what you're saying? Right, but all the bottom switches, the press part that has the design on it, right. all those will fit. The iHybrid LEs, the Fecta, and the Pure, they're all the same. I gotcha. Yes. So you can, take, you can take a design one off the LE and put it on the Fecta if you want to. So yeah, when I first got the when I first saw the Fecta, I have to say I wasn't the the grip on there, the kind of waviness. I was kind of eh. But now that I have it, it's nice because it gives me a it gives my fingers a place to hold on it without sliding up on the tube. So yeah, that's exactly why I did it that way. Too. Yeah. So what I what I didn't like when I first saw it, I actually appreciate in terms of ergodynamics because it uh, it definitely makes it easier for me to hold on to because it is slick you know it's it's all polished and it is slick yeah yeah like I said it looks like a dildo and that that different o-ring made a world oh, of difference. Oh, no, I don't I don't I don't play with dildos <laughs> but you know what they are I don't know what dildos are. but you oh, know, yeah, but I don't play with them you've been in your wife's drawer before right no I stay out of that thing so I don't get <laughs> offended I'm like, what the hell is this six inch thing? I'm only two inches. This is bullshit. <laughs> and it's black too. Oh my god. <laughs> I think it's purple. I think I glanced at that and I was like, what the fuck? Um, 
Oh, and when I had done my review, I had said mentioned that the top cap was still a little bit loose. Well, that top uh -huh. cap, the O-ring fixed it. All it did take was an O-ring, and that top cap is nice and secure now. And I can pick it up with yeah. the top, I can pick it up with the top cap and everything. So that that has been fixed for anybody that saw my review. It's all my one little negative on there. And I figured that yeah, would I fix it. Yeah, when I sent them out, I sent them out with silicone. You know, I use food grade, and I put the orange silicone on there, and that stuff doesn't really expand. And when it gets wet, it gets real slick. So I should have sent them with the black ones to begin with, but that was my fault. And then we have the thousand dollar mod. Now, oh yeah, I saw on your site the other day. Oh no, that's not a scratch. I hope. Oh. Oh, I think I have a scratch <laughs> on it. Can barely see it, but it's like right there. Anyway, I saw on your site that you are going to be making LE pures. Yes. So, what's your plan with the LE pures? Are you not going to be making these LEs anymore, or are these just going to become like a really infrequent thing? Or tell me what's going on there. I'm only going to make one a hybrid LE in month. That's it. You know, and basically. I've just come out with so much stuff. I'm getting so far behind, you know, it's stressful. But uh, I put a thing on my website for vendors who contacted me to carry the Pure. And I had over 107 vendors wanting to carry it in a matter of like 11 minutes. Only so you can imagine how fast. Only 107? In like the first seven minutes, yeah. The rest of them must not have heard about it. Oh, no, they're there. I'm talking about the first seven minutes. I'll give you an idea how many is there. You have no idea, or you just not gonna say? Oh, I have no idea. I mean, my mailbox is full, so I have to weed through there, then I have to send them to another mailbox, so just so my inbox will stay emptied enough where I can have the request sent to me. Oh my so the gosh. picture is gonna be everywhere. I mean, I'm trying to keep up with production, that way a $99 mod isn't resold for like 300 bucks. So when you say one LE a month, is that one of these LEs, or is that going to be include any LEs you make for the Pure? No, it'd be one of those LEs. Uh, the iHybrid Pure Pod will also only have one a month. The reason I'm going to still do the iHybrid LE is because now I make a 510 top cap, which makes it mechanical, which is, and I'm probably going to stick it at the same price, so it doesn't oh, go you're, off. Oh, you're going to put a you're going to put a top cap with these? Yes. Yeah, 510, they're already made. They're going out with the uh, movie as an incentive, you know, when people bought that. They're included with the Vapor Cure. Right, I And know. I made the other ones, people, yeah, people that are going to want them. I made 500 of them, that's all I have right now. So the other, you know, 400 or 300 and some change will go up on the website and it'll be like a 11 to $12. Oh, wow, that's cheap. I had I had thought that I had read where you were making them for the, for the booby, but then you weren't going to do them anymore for the LEs. Yeah, what, I'm, what I think I'm going to do, maybe instead of include them, is just make them and people want them to buy them. I mean, because if you can buy, if you buy a Switch and a Top Cap, now you have a fully mechanical and a hybrid at the same time. Like, because you can use your 352 right now if you have an extra Switch, and, right. which I'm sure you do. Well, these five ten Top Cap. Yeah, well, these Switches are hard to get a hold of, too. It seems like every time you make them, they sell out. And I know there's people that still have old models that don't haven't gotten a new Switch. Yeah. I'm try I told y'all I'd make them until they quit selling, and that's exactly what I'm doing. I have some ready right now. I just, I just got to put them together and give them to Wild Valley. I've got 70 of them, there's, 70 more. There's people I'm like done. there's people like stockpiling the switch. Like, why? If you have the new style switch, you don't really need two of the new style switch because it's a mechanical switch. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I mean, people are buying things like there's, crazy. There's yeah. like, you know, if it ever goes bad, it just needs a spring, probably. It's not like it's, you know, anything serious to go wrong with that switch. Yeah, I think people are turning them upside down and using them as crowns on their Barbie doll or something. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Yeah, but then all your juices leak out. No, I mean, take it off your mod and put it upside oh, down on a Barbie oh, doll. Take it. Oh, like, okay. You know. I get it now. I'm a little slow sometimes. Yeah, my sarcasm is hard to keep up with, especially for somebody that's right brain that wants to do shit left handed. Uh, Are you keeping up? Huh? What? You talking to me? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right, so let's break is this. Is it dark? Can I, take, can I take my mask off now? This shit's kind of getting hot. Yeah, you can take your mask off. I'm sure they want to see you. 
Ugh, that shit's hot, man. I'm drop dead sexy. It's ridiculous. I just wanted them to pay attention to me before they saw you and broke out their fectus. Yeah. <laughs> Can I do close that? It's gotten dark there since you came on. Do you turn the lights off or what? That's what happens, man. When it gets later, it gets dark. I guess you didn't know that either. No, I didn't know that. They only teach they only teach you so much in college when you're majoring in accounting. All right, so there's an LE that's all broken down, basically the same kind of switch. Got Delrin loaded there, top cap, atomizer section. Nice thing about mechanical mods. Nice thing about doing reviews on mechanical mods is. If you can't do a review on a mechanical mod in under 10 minutes, you're just looking at yourself in the camera. Because there ain't shit to say about them. It's like... No, I spelled Granada wrong. Here's the supposed to say Granada. Here's the switch, here's the tube. There we go. Yeah, I don't know what people are doing with them switches. Like right now, I'm about to make more switches than I've ever... Than I, it's not even, I don't understand what's going on. But I'll keep making them. Maybe they're putting them on ghost modder tubes. I don't know what the hell. No, they won't fit. I mean, I use a custom threading. They won't fit anything else. I don't know what the fuck they're doing. Oh, wait. I had one more thing to take part. It's sitting over here. Oh, doing? don't worry, Murdoch. There's fluid in there, too. It's all mixed up. What am I doing here? I had one more device to show. because We have a synthesis. And I've heard that uh, synthesis gets one more run, and then you're done with it. Yep, one more run. That's it. I'm done with them things because what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk. I'm going to sell the top part of the Fecta, you know, by itself. So it's like a mini synthesis. Right. Yeah. I'm going to actually want to hold those together. So that's what we have right now. The synthesis is just slightly larger than what the Fecta top is, but I could take the synthesis and put it on the Fecta body as well if I wanted to. Right. And that's why I'm just going to do one more run of those. You know, because they're dual wick. And instead, on the other side, you know where the uh, fill hole is? Okay, can I ask why on the synthesis you did a double O-ring top, but you didn't do that on the Fecta? Man, I don't know. I always do different shit and always change shit. And okay. I don't know. I, just keep I was just wondering. Because the, the, the synthesis has a very secure top. Okay. Yeah. So I was just asking. If there's really no rhyme I think it's reason. more space. Is it more space? I can't remember if I took any thousands off of it or not. From the top of the Fecta to the, uh, I'd have to measure it myself. You want to see? You understand? I think I took I mean, a little bit got, off of it. Well, what do you know? They do have different size tanks. Yeah, you took. I mean, as far as like how the, how tall they are. No, like the, uh, just the very top part, where the O-rings are. Is that the same distance? Or not? I think I took a. Maybe yeah, 5, you, yeah, you sh looks like you shaved a little bit off of it. Yeah, I think five thousand. It's yeah, it's not much. So that's probably it's, it's not much, a little bit. Yeah, but see on the, this next run of synthesis on the top of the synthesis, you know how the pill hole is the same size as the wick holes. Right. On this, is it? But it is now. I thought. Well, I don't know I'm, if you have an older. Well, I, I think I have one of the first ones, so my fill holes are a little okay, smaller. Yeah. Yeah, well, that fill hole now is the same size as the wick holes. Now what I'm doing is putting a screw on the other side also. So if you're running a single wick, you don't have to plug holes. Make sense? It's crystal clear. Why is my screen all pixelated, man? I'm way sexier in person. Because you're on Skype? <laughs> Egotistical bastard. That's what my name was, man. Ego. Ego. Yeah. ECF made me change. It was, wasn't it? Man, I went and visited that thread on ECF today. Your old thread from 310. That place is a ghost town. I asked them to close it, and they still haven't done it. What the fuck's going on there? Now, if I didn't want them to close it, they would. But now that I want them to, they don't. Yeah. Well, they don't want iHybrid. You know, they just want to control you. They don't want you to leave. Yeah, they're racist. You know, I mean, because I have red hair. Yeah, because you're a freaking Scotty. 
I'm waiting for the kilt pictures. Yeah, I got a kilt. I bet you do. I do. I believe Bad it. pops and everything. Can't, can't play them, but I have them. You just march with them? Well, every time I try and play it, my little girl starts screaming and crying, so I think I suck. Can't play the bag full of sticks. Uh, so, uh, what else do we have? Oh, let's see. So, you said that you had a hundred and some stores. How, how many stores are you planning on having carry the pure? One per state. One per state. And what are you doing about, uh, I'm assuming you're going to go international with it and you're going overseas. What are you doing with that? Well, right now I'm talking to one person that wants exclusive rights and the order they're wanting to play is I'm probably going to give it to them. Oh, yeah. And that's going to be for the entire world overseas, or are you just talk? I mean, is that Malaysia, or are you going to? How are you going to do that? No, uh, Europe only. Europe will have one vendor exclusive rights, and then uh, uh, Malaysia scares the shit out of me. But I'll probably I've been talking to somebody down there also, and I'll probably have maybe one or two in Canada. I'd rather have it where I can just give like five thousand to one person, and they distribute them for me. Because I'm gonna have to open a warehouse, a distributing warehouse. This thing is going way over my head. Yeah. And I have two other businesses I have to run. So you you hiring like a business manager to take care of this stuff now, or what are you gonna do? Yeah. I'm, well, right now I'm trying to get into anodizing. I think I'm gonna open a warehouse. There's an 8,500 square uh, square foot warehouse down the road from it, and I think I'm gonna go ahead and buy that and put all my machines in there, and then put my own anodizing do everything in the house i just have to hire a lot of people you think it'll be worth it for you to do your own anodizing probably not i mean it costs it costs about four dollars per piece right now you know so that's pretty damn cheap but me doing my own anodizing ooh, it's gonna cost a lot well it's a little scary because you know you don't want somebody messing them up yeah exactly yeah. Because my anodizer now, I mean, he's a great anodizer. I mean, he's a huge company, but, and sometimes on the colors, he just don't do it. I mean, I had him redo the bake for a cure twice. I was like, forget it, man. Just give it to me like it is. You know, I can't be waiting another two to three weeks. So it can't, it didn't come out the powder pink. And the reason he told me is because I'd have to brush them. It'd have to be a lighter aluminum, and I didn't want to brush them. I don't like the brush, the brush look on the aluminum. I like the look that I give it, the finish look. Right. So it's like a, it's a little darker pink. Well, so I'll, I'll post pictures on Facebook. Yeah, well, I used to be in auto body, and doing the colors is not as easy as you might think it would be, just because somebody goes, I want that color, and they pick a color chip, and they can buy that exact color, and a lot of it has to do with the base coat and the finish and how many how many layers are put on there to get the right, color, yeah, to get that final. Right, the temperature that it's done at, you know, the relative humidity, you know, what temperature it's baked at. I mean, there's so many variables in getting that exact color that you're after. You know, it's not uncommon, you know, when we would do stuff, we would do something that's called blending. So if you're replacing a fender, you would also blend, you'd blend into the door and you'd blend into the hood and sometimes even the bumper cover, depending on what it was especially like pearl coats because the stuff never matches i mean you can have the exact same color paint but it just it just varies you know so you do a blend into the door where you're kind of fading the color in and then you clear coat the whole thing and then it gives the illusion that everything is the same color yeah. and there's something too is that clear coat alone will change the color of a paint you know because yes, exactly. because clear coat isn't even clear clear coat's kind of got a yellowish tint to it so doing color, light colors like whites and pinks and stuff like that, man, those are really difficult to match up sometimes. Black, black's easy. That's the easiest color there yeah. is to match. Exactly. That's why I did those the first run in black. I mean, the, the next run will be black and green, and they'll be all over the place. So I have no idea who's getting green, who's getting black. Just, you know, I say, they say, I ask them how many they want, and they're like, give me 300, and one person's like, I need 4,000. I'm like, dude, I can't even give you 4,000. 4,000. Oh my God! Yeah, some somebody wanted four thousand. I'm like, there's no way. 
sounds like you need to buy more machines. I just did. It takes four to eight weeks for them to get here. You need to you need to quit your other jobs. Yeah, <laughs> I need to do something instead you need, of buying machines all the time. You need a clone. You need yeah, to, that's the thing. Though. I get I get worried. Like I have another machinist that helps me, and I always get worried about. Oh man, I hope he's doing it right. I hope he don't scratch something. But he's pretty good, man. He knows the quality of everything I need now, so he's on top of his shit too. Yeah, well, it's it's surprising, you know. I I I talk to other modders and stuff sometimes, and the problems that they have getting the correct machining is always surprising to me. You know, you're dealing with these machine companies that. You know, they're used to dealing in, in tiny, intricate parts that all have to go together a certain way and be within certain specifications and everything. But uh, that doesn't mean that they're going to do it right. Exactly. You know, and they change yeah, things, on, take, they change things on their own my, without telling you they're going to change them. And yeah, That's why I don't take my shit to machine shops. I do everything myself. Because they probably mess it up. There's no time what the hell they charge me. You know I mean, I probably couldn't take that pure to a machine shop and sell it for ninety nine dollars. That's you know, oh, probably well, costing. Yeah, I seriously doubt that. I'm really surprised that you're going to be selling them for ninety nine dollars because you could sell them for more. Yeah, but my whole idea was to get them out there where people could afford them. A lot of people that can't afford hybrids, you know, they're like, ah, I'm going to mess with it. I'm going to mess with it, and they're buying the Chinese clones because they're cheaper for RBAs, and I'd rather them just buy, you know, a product. I vape, so I know what the hell I'm doing. Well, I'd, I'd rather see people buying American-made products, too. You know? Keep the money in Texas. Because Texas, so it, cause Texans don't have enough it's gonna, money. It's going to take a lot for Chinese to sell lower than what I'm selling. Because well, they make you buy in bulk. Well, and to match what kind of quality that you're going to be able to produce doing it yourself and watching over it yourself. and. Uh, you know, exactly. I've seen a lot of Plus Chinese you have to stuff. Buy in bulk. Yeah, and like I said, you have to buy in bulk. Like if you go to a website in China, they're like, oh, you have to buy 3,000 of them. Well, who the hell's going to do that? What kind of group buy is going to have 3,000 units? You know, then you only get them for like 70, 75 dollars. Right. Well, and, you know, I think it's pretty cool too because a lot of people here in the States, they wouldn't even think about making this here. You know, if they came up with this exact design, the first thing they would do would be to ship one of these things over to China and have China replicate it. Yeah, I can't do that either. You know? I mean, there's more to that than people think also, because I, I turn them, then I drill the holes for the ground screws, then I take them to anodizing, go pick them up from anodizing and bring them back to my shop, and then I tap the holes for the screws right. so it'll ground properly. Right. But I've just, so I've, I've just seen that, no, I've seen that trend in vaping where, uh, you know, different companies, they, they come up with the design and everything, and then they ship it off to China and have China make it, and then ship it stuff back over here again, instead of just doing it here, you know, make, I mean, you're, you're making a huge investment doing this sort of thing, there's, there's some risk involved there, but I, you know, yeah, huge risk, huge risk, you know, because you don't know, you don't know what the future of vaping holds in America, I mean, it's not like they're going to take it away. But what are they going to do with liquids necessarily? Exactly. You're reading. Decaying. Shit. You're reading, Chad. Decaying I can. Liquid. I can tell. <laughs> I'm trying to. I'm multitasking, and I'm a, I'm a guy. We're not good at multitasking. Yeah, I saw that on MythBusters the other day. We can't parallel park either without hitting a car in front or behind us either. Yeah, I don't parallel park. I'll drive three blocks away and park somewhere else. So what's up with all these pictures I see of you kissing men? Is there something? Oh man, I was, I, was show, I was showing my love. That's how I love people, man. I didn't know if there was something we didn't know about you, or. Yeah, I'm gonna stick my tongue in your ear, so you you wait till we meet. Shoot, that's probably never gonna happen. Wet willies. This is this is as close as I'm getting to you. Oh, I'm gonna hunt you down, and give you a wet willy. I'm gonna videotape that shit. Probably sell it. You know, there's sell what? that. Sell the video. The hell? Sell the video. <laughs> uh, I wonder how much I could get for that for the for my uh, 
for my pussycock hybrid. You want to make those? I want to go into mass production on the pussycock hybrid. Uh, I'd probably do it, but they'd never get out of my house. My wife would probably keep every one of them. Because they're pretty nice, you got to admit. And that thing vapes. I mean, it just vapes. You saw it, didn't you? Yeah, I saw it. <laughs> you don't even know what, you don't even time. you don't even know what to say to that. <laughs> I was cracking up the whole time, man. Especially when you're licking your fingers. I was like, what the hell? Well yeah, man, you gotta ease your finger into that bunghole. You don't want to stick it. The best part is when you want to stick it the in best there part dry. Is when you slapped it. <laughs> the oh, best part is when you slapped it and cut you off, the video cut you off. Yeah, that's uh that's vaping history never to be seen again. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's my winter quarter that shit. Oh, I recorded it, but I don't think Vape TV would want to put that up on their website. <laughs> <laughs> that isn't the kind yeah, of that, that is classic. that is that isn't the kind of publicity that they want. I'm surprised I still have a job. Yeah, that, that was classic. <laughs> yeah, I got more of a fan base, man. That's why major ratings go up, like Howard Stern and shit. Shit, I doubt that. My ratings have sucked lately. It's been all downhill since you were on here the last time. It's the best audience Is I've it had. Me? It's the best audience I've had since you were on here the last time. Shit, I'd love to have my own show. And half of them I wouldn't show up for people just be staring at a fucking blank screen. I just show up randomly. Hold on, man. Does the little missy want to look at the people? Oh, she can't see him. Oh, yeah, she can. She can't see herself. Yeah, she can she, see herself, too. Yeah, she always thinks she's on TV. So, it's funny. It? I'll be watching a YouTube video. I'll be watching a YouTube video, and she'll come in here and start waving. I'm not a hater, easy. Okay, I'm a little bit of a hater. I, I pretty much... But I hate everybody equally. Except for a couple of people that I hate more than everybody else. And they know who they are. <laughs> What's June 29th? What the hell are they talking about? I don't know. Um, I don't either. Utter balls. Da, 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 da. I don't, dude, I don't even read this, read that stuff most of the time. When I'm trying to think of stuff to say and showing devices and stuff, oh. it's too hard to pay attention. Cause I get, dis uh, cause I get, dis a party my house. I get distracted. Yeah, you guys want to come to my house? We can have a party here. I'll set up some tents, cook some weenies. Uh, I don't eat weenies. <laughs> How about brats? Eat brats. Who? Rocks. What the hell? Brats. B r a t s. Uh -huh. Brats. No. No. I don't um, eat bananas. I don't eat anything shaped in that, any, in that form. Anything phallic. It scares you, me. You just like phallic mods that that look like your wife's toys. Yeah, exactly. Cause you I get, make them for her. Because you get a giggle out of watching people vape them. <laughs> my wife. Here's my wife. She's like, uh, ooh, I want the sweet medicine. Oh, I like the Mayan. Oh, I want the sugar skull. So I give her all these mods, and what she do? Goes outside and smokes cigarettes. No way. I swear to you, she's probably out there right now, stinking. Oh my gosh. If she can hear me, she'll be in here in a minute and slap me on live TV and see it. Does she at least vape a little bit? Yeah, at nighttime when she's scared to go outside because there's spiders and crickets. And diamondback, she's terrified of bugs. diamondback rattlesnakes. And... <laughs> Yeah, those are fun. I got those bad. So, do you smoke at all anymore? And it's not bad if no, you. It's not smoked. bad if you do. It's just a question. Nope, I haven't smoked since December of two thousand nine. Not even one. Nope, not even. Yeah, I had one. I had one on my wife's birthday in February. I was drunk as piss. I took about four drags off of it and almost threw up. So. I'll tell you, I'll have one every once in a while, and at it about two puffs into it I'm like why did I even like this because it's terrible I, it puts off no vapor either I'm, that's the thing that really amazes me when you smoke a cigarette 
because the smoke that comes out of it is nothing like what you get out of a vaporizer. There's exactly. there's no visual satisfaction from smoking a cigarette at all. It's either you're smoking it for the taste or the quick nick hit, and that can only be it because there's no visual stimulation. Yeah, I'm wearing a Notre Dame hat. And at Slick, you'd be doing me a favor, man, if you did that. Go for it, please. And you're wearing a New York Yankee, a New York Yankees jersey, and you're in Texas. Hey, don't hate me because I'm smart. We all know the Yankees are the best team to ever play any sport ever. Really? Yeah, 27, 28 championships. Hell, I lost count so damn many. Hold on, baby. Be, give me 10 minutes, okay? Yeah, we're almost done. 10 minutes. We're ringing it out here at the end. Yankees rock. Who's your, who's your baseball team? We don't have one in Indianapolis. We have a minor league team. We have uh, the Indianapolis Indians. Yeah, they probably suck. But the Pacers are on tonight. They start in about 10 minutes. And they're, they, I don't should, watch they, basketball. Should, they should be kicking some heat ass tonight. I don't watch basketball. If I, if I watch basketball, my team would probably be whoever. Uh, I don't know. I don't even have a favorite player in basketball. I like whoever's playing the Lakers, whoever's playing the Heat, whoever's playing. I the, like controversial players. Whoever's like, playing uh, the Dennis Bulls. Rodman, LeBron James. I like controversial people. Like I like LeBron James, man. Who does right. he play for? I don't watch the basketball. He plays for the Heat. That's who the Pacers are playing tonight. Well, see the pace. Okay, well, see the, 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 what, no, no, no. See the Pacers have a controversial player now. He got fined seventy five thousand dollars because he made because in a post game interview he's made some comment and he said no homo. You know, is in like is oh. in like bro hug no homo. I mean, I guess you can. I guess if you're an NBA player, you can't make jokes like that. But he said that. And then he swore on live national television, and I'm not sure what word he said because I wasn't watching it. Can they bleep it out? Probably fuck or something like that. Yeah, he got fined seventy five thousand dollars yesterday or today. So we have a controversial player, so you can you can root for the Pacers. Nah, I'd rather I'd rather root for the Heat. Oh, go to hell. <laughs> <laughs> So. And your football oh. team, I'm assuming, is the Colts. Well, of course. Yeah, they suck too. Yeah, they suck. And who you, who do you have there in Texas? Dallas and Houston. I'm not a, I'm not a Dallas fan at all. A couple of big suckers there. I hate the Cowboys. They're America's team, though. What, what's your football team? Then? New York Giants. I love the Giants, man. Yeah, at least you like a Manning, I guess. Yeah, I love the Giants. You watch hockey? I grew up with him, man. Lawrence Taylor called back. Yeah, I watch hockey. I played hockey for 11 years. Did you? Yeah, I'm badass. Is that why you have all the fake teeth? or? No, I don't have fake teeth. They're good. Oh, I thought those were all, all like caps. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're good. <laughs> were you any good? Or did you just think, hockey? Yeah, or did you just think you were good? No, I was good. I played left wing. I played 11 years. Oh, uh, look at Pip the Bunny. Pip the Bunny. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I'm not better looking. I'm disappointed. They can't see your pop belly. They just see your skinny face. I don't have a pop belly, man. I saw, I'm a, in pic shape. I saw a picture of you. You had a gut. Uh, that's probably when I was drinking. Yeah, oh, you'll never gut when you're drinking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it goes it goes away the next day. But... <laughs> you're leaning over, giving some guy the tongue, and <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised you let those pictures get out there. Your mystique's all I can't control it, man. People people were taking pictures of me all night. They always hammered. Your mystique's all going away. Yeah, I, I was I was not in good shape. Yeah, you look like you were having fun. Yeah, I have no idea what's going on. So you want to make some shout-outs and say hi to everybody? 
I'll let you go the lit, go through the list and say hi to everybody. You know how to do that? I don't even know how to look at this. No. You don't know how to do it? No, you do it. Right. I'll, I'll pronounce shit wrong and all kinds of shit. It'll be bad. All right. We got all kinds of people here tonight. We have Yogi and Woodard and Vapor Stacks and Tyven and TJ, the Investigator, Teacup, Stub, Stevo, Slick, Scott, Server, Nick Redwolf, Non Literal, Nick Nose, Next, Mord, Moral Nihilist, Mastiff Mom, Lev, Lakotus, Keegan, J Red, Ingline, Gyromite, Escalade, Dengarin, Dan Patrick, Cool to F Chris. I don't know what that is. C Matt, Chuck, C D, Big Papa, Brian, Bruce City, Bill Wig, Big Will Dog, Big Buyer, Apex of Light, U Stink, Wild Valley, Vapor Geek Boy, Urufu, Tower Vape, Sissy, Sam VP, Rudist Buddhist, Roar. Ripple, Papa, Pip the Bunny, Phantom, Ovane, Norway, Niagara, Neverhome, Murdoch, Mr. Vapor, Mr. Sunshine, Machiavelli, Kevin Brooks, KDO Vapor, Jinx, Jeremy, J Paradise, Huge Ass, Hawkeye, Gothic Bash, Frozen, Freddy, Fluid Vapor, Flower Prince, Feed Me Coffee, Use, Easy Kill, Deeds, Debo, Catbox, Breathe Easy, Blake, Best, Angel Vape, One Pink Sneaker, my brother from another mother, Blacksmith Pro, Lady Strange, and the incomparable Crazy Lloyd. That's a pretty Man, good list. Ripple's li in here? That's a pretty good list. Yeah, can you believe that Ripple that showed did? up? No, I can't. That dude don't even like me. I know. I'm surprised he's not heckling the shit out of you inside a chat right now. Yeah, no shit. That dude hates me. I know. Every post he makes, he talks about how ugly your stuff is and everything else. I can't believe he's here. Oh, well. He likes everybody, though. He's a hippie. He's yeah. A, he's all free love and hugs and kisses and stuff. <laughs> I love you, Ripple. <laughs> and you know, Big Buyer, that's Bruce. That's C.O.B. Yeah, Bruce. Yeah, what's going on, man? Yeah. To all the questions I missed, I'm sorry. I was trying to keep up. But... So... You have you have about distract. four minutes. If anybody has a good question, go ahead and ask it. Go. Yeah, I'll read anything. Somebody else asking a question. Go. See, they got a they got a couple second lag. <laughs> Will you marry me? <laughs> <laughs> Time frame for uh, effecti effecti tubes. Yes, I heard there were going to be uh, optional effecti tubes. Yep, they're already made, so they'll be released with the next run, which is probably two to three weeks. Uh, the bait for a cure that I'm running into a problem shipping those they're going to be ready uh, Wednesday like I said but Wild Valley is going to a vape meet so I need to touch base with them I haven't talked to them in a few days I've been busy around the house and let's see 26 650 I hybrid I'm going to do a one in a pure and it's going to be called the Nephil maybe that's right the giant angel people that don't live here anymore whatever it is a 26650 well, pure? Yes. Okay, you got my address, right? <laughs> yeah, I got your address. All right, just checking. Just making sure. I like my pizza I like my pizza with no sauce. The link to my site is ihybridmods.com. Am I missing anything else? Uh, let's see. What's your favorite wick? I like 200 mesh, man. I, I don't I got away from that stainless steel cable. Okay. So how, I just use 200 mesh and everything. How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? 42 grams. That's the truth. Okay. You've measured that, I see. You, you, yeah, you, I have woodchuck. You, you answered that with authority. So I think you probably knew that already. What's that? Do I shoes? I don't wear shoes. I wear flip-flops. Flip-flops. Even when you're rustling cattle? Yep. Even when I'm on the tractor, I have on flip-flops. Wow. It's that feet of iron. Always, always get bit by snakes. Well, all right, man. It looks like Bruce is ready to take over here in a second. So everybody say goodbye. 
I'd like to thank you for coming on the show. I know I gave you kind of short notice this afternoon. I appreciate you coming. I'm sure that everybody everybody enjoyed getting to hear from you. It's always nice awesome. to be able to get the get the face with the, everything else that's going on and hear it straight from the horse's mouth, so to speak. You just call me a horse? Yes. Horse teeth. Okay. That's a double wet willy. <laughs> All right. Well, we... I appreciate everybody coming out. We're going to fade out of here. Thanks for coming, everyone. Hang around for BSP. Is BSP up or Big Fire? Who's up? Uh, Bruce is coming up next. Yeah, everybody stick around for Bruce. So we are going to okay, go... Cool. I'm going to give him a wet willy, too. Okay. I'm going to give Ripple a wet willy, too. Feel free. Thanks a lot. See you guys next time. No problem,